Leo, this is your rest of October highest possible messages 2020 and or timeless whenever you come across this. Spirit 11 light highest possible messages for Leo, rest of October. Guys, feel free to reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. All my info is on my website, link below. I'm very flexible on what platform we use. We could do it over the phone. We could do it over Messenger with pictures included of the tarot cards that I pull. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I offered freestyle readings and or structured readings. So whatever you have uh, in mind. Okay, this is a completion of a cycle. This is a ending of a burdensome energy here, channeling some Sagittarius energy. So something that you could have traveled for or relocated for, Leo. Um, that's finally coming to an end could be a living situation could be you know work oriented situation Okay, feeling stuck though. This is double closures of the cycle of the chapter here Okay, channeling the judgment card energy here a final evaluation you're hesitant and resistant and, and reticent to spin the wheel um, I'm getting an energy, a lingering energy, a surrounding energy of not having done things quite on the up and up as required, maybe not having studied or researched enough or planned out long term enough, Leo. Um, I'm getting that something could be coming to a close and that you're not necessarily prepared for it this coming Sagittarius season, this holiday season. You're not quite sure how you're going to finagle this one. Again, more so Scorpio and Sagittarian season with the Knight of Wands here. This is a card of action. So whatever it is, you got to kind of light a fire under your butt and take some action. Um, granted, sometimes things outside of our control come to an end. Um, but just because they come to an end, maybe not necessarily on our timeline, doesn't mean that we should stay there with the sinking ship. Uh, on the contrary, you should definitely try to remove yourself from the current circumstance if you don't see it as a long-term um, working out of sorts for you. Okay, you got the lovers in reverse. This is coming out of a karmic situation, possibly. Um, maybe not having gone into a situation for the correct reasons. Although the Empress is involved, it could be a Taurus or a Libra. It could be representative of the Libra season where these scales are being balanced. And um, it could be an early pregnancy coming through, okay, before you planned or before you were expecting. And whatever it is, it's coming, okay. This, this Empress is giving birth here. She's about to pop, okay. So whether you're ready or not, this new world, this new birth... Is happening right now so you got to make some decisions you got to take some action and you got to spin that wheel if you got to bite the bullet you got to bite the bullet if you got to eat the frog you got to eat the frog but this was all meant to happen right here and right now again more Sagittarius energy it could be that you were being called to relocate it could be that you're being called to get back on your middle path so to speak in some sort of Zen regard um, find your purpose, okay, uh, find balance uh, in your life, find your true calling and move more so towards that, enough pussyfooting around, this temperance card adds up to a number five, which is more conflict, so it's not going to be pretty, it might disrupt your whole structure of how you see your life panning out, but Again, all of this is going to unfold. It's going to disrupt you and cause chaos because it's going to strengthen you spiritually. I see the Knight of Cups. So someone is kind of looking at all this chaotic energy emerging and occurring. But again, once this is finished being mixed up, this special concoction that's being mixed up by the divine, although it seems kind of demonic or fierce, this knight here that's missing a cup Okay, the cup is the ability to heal, cleanse, nourish, bond, make a connection with others and self to reciprocate. Someone's lesson is probably of that of reciprocity. And I know Leos tend to sweep things under the rug. So 
It could be a matter of seeing what's really in your cup. The cup is a metaphor for your choices in life. Did you choose something that was just glitzy and shiny? Or did you choose something that was going to help you along your spiritual path and journey? The Knight of Cups speaks to Aquarian energy. The planet Uranus rules Aquarius. The planet of shock and awe. I definitely see that coming through here. And Pisces energy. That's the one energy. That's the Neo in the Matrix. That's reality creating energy. Um... So your reality is going to be based on your perception. You could have Aquarius or Pisces energy and your sun, moon, rising sign. But guess what? Your perception is your reality. And a lot of reality is based off of your perception of self, your own roadblocks, your own insecurities, what you believe that you could overcome and surmount. And, you know, from this end of things, I see you as a force to be reckoned with that's able to overcome anything and everything. That goes for all of the signs, okay? Not just a special few, nothing like that. I see that what, what might be a remaining roadblock in you, in front of you, Leo, is this uh, emotional dependence and indulgence when uh, it comes to your home front, okay? You could have a real soft spot for hanging out at home and your loved ones and your friends and family, but that soft spot is really truly um kind of being your achilles heel and it's not allowing you to go out and force you to put yourself in uh situations which which challenge you uh, and when we're challenged we get to find out what we're made of and we get we get to find out what we're really about uh, at the core of ourselves and if you have seen what you're really about at the core and the heart of the matter and you don't like it well, guess what? You always have a chance to redeem yourself and you always have an opportunity to um, choose better because uh, we have the ability to unconditionally forgive, accept, and love and let go of uh, those energies and, and the choices that we have made in the past. Okay, That's why the present is always so special. This King of Swords in the Reverse is about inner knowing. So there could be some inner knowing uh, in regards to how you've been conducting yourself or uh, if this energy doesn't apply to you, it could be a surrounding energy and you could be knowing what cuts that you do have to make for people that are too emotionally dependent on you. Um, when whoever does make these cuts, whether it's you or a surrounding energy, there's going to be a lot of chaos, there's going to be a lot of disorientation, there's going to be a lot of smokescreen as to... You know, what are my values? What do I represent? What do I stand for? With that Seven of Cups in the reverse, you're going to want to let the smoke settle for a seemingly, you know, tower moment. Um, and you're going to want to, again, turn internally and find out what's best for you and yours. Okay. Yes, and that's what this Five of Pentacles speaks to in the reverse is going into the Church of Self. And deciphering what do I really value um, kind of checking out your own history your own uh, mythology and seeing what are the choices that I've been making consistently in my life and what were those founded on were they founded on selflessness or selfishness Were they founded on fear or love okay this is heartbreak so there's a lot of sadness in your past the quell to sadness is happiness choose happiness Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to be selfish or do it in a in a vindictive way, but when you start to prioritize self-love and happiness, then it makes life worth living, Leo. Okay, again, uh, more lack of clarity, uh, more fog, really not knowing what's going on, kind of having gotten lost uh, in your own web. Um, possibly if this is for you, it could be, you know, some lying, some gossiping, some cheating. Um, and, you know, when the dark night of the soul, you know, approaches, then we're kind of, you know, too busy being caught in our own web. Um, spirit has purposely uh, left you tangled um, to kind of put up the mirror to yourself and see uh that you know how you've been operating has not been in a savory way again it could be you or it could be those around you surrounding environment this eight of wands in the reverse um 
is speaking to uh, having stuck around a situation for far too long, okay? Having dug your heels in uh, out of ego, okay? And it's kind of stunted and halted your spiritual growth. And you're limiting yourself to possible opportunities and fortune that are waiting for, for you. You could have been making decisions based on a sed seductive uh, pie in the sky type uh, opportunity that you thought was available to you but again were you making those choices from the kindness of your heart or were you just trying to you know um, take and not uh, reciprocate well the good news is is that since we're in Libra season those universal karmic scales will be balanced uh, no matter what um, I just see that you really need to do some writing some reflecting, some thinking out loud, maybe go for a walk and think out loud and talk to yourself and maybe meditate and see what bubbles up. I know Mercury is in retrograde in Scorpio, so you're going to have some time to to really face um, what you've been kind of sweeping under the rug lately. Um, it could be in regards to marriage, to, to what and how you publicly celebrate your victories as opposed to acknowledging your losses. And the scales have been in balance for a long time. And justice has been put way well beyond the back burner. It's been hidden in a, in a, in a dungeon somewhere. And um, that season is over because we are in the season of uh, Libra. And again, balancing the universal karmic scales. This is Virgo Leo energy, slow, steady, moving energy. Trying to reach its destination. Um, the negative connotations is that this is just all for show. And it's never really um, fond of reaching its final destination. Uh, we see here that this pinnacle is uh, locked up. Okay, this is a very uh, important high-ranking pinnacle. It's probably the pinnacle that you need to complete your legacy. Um, however, uh, it is locked behind a protective case. And, um, you know, what's that key? What's that key that you need for your life um, to, to let everything fall away that no longer serves you, whether it's lifestyles, habits, codependencies, indulgences, uh, negative uh, self-belief or ways of thought. Um, what's really, if you can imagine and pretend uh, yourself to be happy or everything to be perfectly as you want it to be, and then just take away that pretend part, and then you're left with just that feeling that cloud of reality the same cloud that you could be being distracted with and by i see a lot of cloud energy um but the cloud energy could be good or it could be bad it's kind of again your perception of things not to say that you want to continue to keep on sweeping things under the rug but when you acknowledge it and you pay your um you know offerings uh to show you know that you that you want to be forgiven and to show humility and uh, to show that maybe you are, you know, sorry for your misdeeds in the past. Again, at any point, you could, you know, choose to um, forgive yourself and, and by truly uh, understanding, you know, what your decisions may have done uh, for yourself or for others. Okay. Um, I think it's about turning a new leaf and really finding the key uh, so you can unlock this tenth and final pentacle. Um, the nine of pentacles speaks to kind of being stuck in this independent me against the world type mentality. But the tenth and final pentacle, which I kind of feel is this, um, speaks to really choosing uh, to leave a legacy that you would be proud of. Okay, to leave a story. Okay, to really being the, you know, Sir Lancelot of your story. Where this is not just any knight. This is, you know, Knights of the Round Table. Okay. King Arthur's Knight. So, someone valiant. And, uh, and kind of ethically and morally sound. And I feel like, for a lot of intents and purposes, that could be the key. You know, the worth, the worthiness that you see in yourself. And um, maybe you gain more self-worth and maybe you gain real true um, status, meaning no one could take it away from you 
uh, because it's an inside job, right? Because you know the the secrets and the depths of, of your of your choices, and you've done the work whether to unconditionally forgive and accept yourself or not. I feel like that valor aspect by doing things um, for you know the right reasons and doing the right thing. Uh, I think that's the key because then at that level we're talking about the scales of karmic and universal law and justices that the universe keeps tabs on okay it has nothing to do with man so I see this as keeping you out of true bliss and happiness okay again a lot of past unresolved issues energy with that ten of cups in the reverse and if left unchecked it's gonna lead to a falling out of all that which you love okay and it's gonna keep you unrooted and left in the cold and um, just more of the same negative ugly energy but you want to move away from that and that's going to require you to do the inner work here okay to figure out what that key is for you leo all right so that's what i got for you uh feel free to lecture follow i love reading your comments i love seeing the like and subscribe notifications on youtube and um, would love to work with you on your spiritual journey and path. And uh, all my info for uh, contacting me for a reading uh, live or pre-recorded is on my website. Um, holler at your boy. Love you guys lots. Peace.